Hi, welcome to another CigarAdvisor.com cigar review panel. I'm Gary Korb, the world's least interesting man, and today we're going to be smoking the Perdomo Small Batch 2005 Bellicoso. This is an all Nicaraguan blend with 10 year aged Nicaraguan tobaccos, filler binder wrapper, whole thing. So, joining us today in our gang of four is a young man who didn't date until he was 21 because he actually believed that girls have cooties. Mr. Jonathan Detour. Wow. Yes, they do. He was once mistaken for George Clooney at a cocktail party. Not George Clooney, the actor George Clooney, the podiatrist from Fort Wayne, Indiana, Mr. John Pula. <laughs> and if the world was made of macaroni, he'd supply the cheese, Mr. Tommy Z-Man. So I'm going to start with you, Tommy. Me? Let's, uh, let's see what you think of this small batch well, bellicoso. I can first start by saying, you know, I know Nick Perdomo. Nick Perdomo is my friend, and you are no Nick Perdomo. <laughs> let's get that He's straight. my friend, too. Though. This cigar is a little fire plug. Um, it is spicy, it's got tons of flavor, but I think a lot of us, when we had our smoke the other day, when we first smoked it, I got bombarded with cedar and a woodiness. Mm -hmm. uh, I know Gary got a woody, and... Uh, but he announced and, this for the whole room to hear. Well, he also the said... Your office was ablaze with this news. But yes, uh, but mm -hmm. the, he also said he got a lot of nuts, so I was really taken aback. But with your warped mind, you would think that. There's nothing warped about woodiness, but there's, a, there's, I think a couple of us got cedar. Now I got a wicked blast of cedar and I got cedar all the way through. Um, I got a lot of citrus, as I know Mr. Pulo said as well, and an interesting combination of cedar and citrus, which had me like, a, like, what am I tasting here? And it was so cool that I wasn't just smoking the cigar, I was really trying to find out what was going on inside this cigar. So See, I got, I got something, the cedar is is 100% there. I mean, this is a very very woody cigar. Um, now, I when we were smoking this before, I had mentioned to Pulo over there that I was getting a lot of pepper right up front. It was, a, it was a very very peppery cigar, and he didn't he didn't really didn't get any when he was smoking it until a little bit later on, where it was only a, a subtle note. But I got a lot of pepper up front that mellowed out, uh, starting in the second third of the cigar, um, a ton of cedar. But I didn't get that um, that citrusy note that you're talking about. I did get a nice mild sweetness, kind of like a fig, like a dried, wow. like a dried fruity sensation. It's probably in the same family. Yeah, it's, uh, right, same family. So, but it, there was a there was a distinct sweetness to it. But really, I I think you're absolutely right that the the predominant note on this cigar is 100% cedar, that sweet woody cedar, and the aroma completely matches that. Okay, so would you say, and I'll, I'll ask Gary before I chime in here, is mm -hmm. you, do you think that cedar, and, yes. and to me it was a little oaky, but is that indicative of the extra aging? Probably, big part of it, yeah. I'm picking up a lot of cedar myself and I'm getting that little uh, nuttiness too in there. Um, and uh, it's the, the smoke is very, it's very, um, I don't know, what's, what, what would you call well, it? I'm getting um, like a charred wood smell on that smoke, like yeah, that oakiness very, that's mm -hmm, in the yeah. smoke. Right. All right, it's, a, lo it's a lot, lot of well that, balanced. A, a lot of that important. tanginess that you're talking about and a lot of that sweetness you're talking about is because of the three small batch series, there's a Connecticut, there's a Maduro, and there's this one, which is the Sun Grown. And the Sun Grown kind of fits that sweet spot in between the heartier Maduro and the milder Connecticut. Mm -hmm. And it seems that, <clears throat> to me anyway, for a lot of the Perdomo cigars that we've smoked and reviewed before, like the 20th anniversary, mm -hmm. uh, that one comes to mind immediately. The sun groans that Nick Perdomo cultivates and ages have a very distinct flavor. And I think we're mm -hmm. starting to see a lot of that. But in, in, in terms of it having been, like Gary's head said, aged for 10 years, yeah. which is an exorbitant amount of time. Yeah just has a series of darker flavors than maybe you might be used to the regular citrusy tang and that sweetness yeah. and why you may not be noticing it as much. Okay, that makes sense. Well, I am getting a little sweetness in the tobacco too. It's, it's very well balanced. One thing I'll say about Nick's cigars, uh, regardless of the blend, they're always well balanced. And um, I'm getting sort of a really nice mix of, like again, that, that, that nuttiness. I think on the website, they. They describe it as almonds, but I'll just say nuts. You know what? That's there. You, think you know, so? like like that almondy. Yes. Okay. Yes. I, I didn't put my finger on it, but that's there. 
That's a complex cigar. There's some really interesting flavors going on in here. And it's, uh, like I said, it's not just, to me, this isn't the kind of cigar that you just light up and you smoke and you enjoy. You, mm. I sat there and I'm doing it again right now, thinking in my head, holy mackerel, I'm tasting this, I'm tasting that. That's pretty cool for a cigar smoker. So for the, for the beginner smokers or the guys who don't smoke enough, or haven't smoked a lot, mm -hmm. see if you're experiencing that. Like, bring it in the back of your palate, and I'm not telling you to inhale, but bring it and like, taste it and see what you what you think you're tasting. And and for the experienced guys, you're going to see this right off the bat. Construction on the cigar is great. Uh, you know, no, the the even on the ash, it, it's holding strong. Oh yeah, not a bit of flake to it. And if I could add to that, you know, because this is a figurado, it has the tapered head, and so the the smoke is more concentrated. Into, you know, to the palate, so you might pick up a little more depth of flavor than you would if it was just, you know, right. a regular parejo. Now we were probably about a half an inch to the better part of an inch in. Yeah. How's that pepper? Pepper's gone. Mine's I got gone. No the, the pepper. pepper. The pepper when I gone. when I experienced it, the pepper was was blasting me right up front. Right. It, it was a blast right up front. Okay. And then as soon as you get about, like I said before, about an inch in or so, it completely. Go, either goes away or it becomes a background flavor. So you yeah. do get a little bit of complexity and, and change there. I was going to say. That, that's I, what you get when you go an inch in? Okay. That's, <laughs> that's exactly <laughs> what happens. Okay. So, so right there, the, the pepper kind of lingers in the background, kind of like tap, tap, tap. Yeah, just, just a little bit. Just to remind you that it's there, mm -hmm. yeah. which, which, you know, in contrast to a lot of more powerful Nicaraguan cigars. You know, so this, this being, I, I would say, would you agree, medium body? Oh, yeah. yeah. Medium so body. Maybe, you know, maybe it's a medium full, full depending it's not, on where it's it not goes. Full. Okay. So you, all right, let me say, you talk about strong Nicaraguan cigars. I'm going to use a word, finesse. This has like, does that make sense? Yeah. This has some finesse to it. It's yeah. not just a bold Nicaraguan. It, right. Mm -hmm. right. It kind of dances for you. So mm -hmm. this would be an easy introduction, I think, to somebody who's maybe not as experienced or who doesn't like these full flavored, you know, killer cigars. Right. Nick, all Nick the time. bombs. Right. <laughs> you know, so, and, you know, because if, if you don't really have a lot of experience getting into the small batch, type mm -hmm. of things, you know, this is not one to shy away from. Right. Very it's like, smoke. it's like, instead of going, to, if you're trying to introduce somebody to a, a Nicaraguan cigar, you're not going to steer them towards a Nicarustica. But if mm -hmm. you want to give them a good introduction to a Nicaraguan cigar, this is a perfect one to go towards. Yeah. And I think we can presume that uh, some of this tobacco, if not all of it, was barrel aged as well. So mm -hmm. if you're picking up some oakiness or stuff like that, it could be as a result does. of that too. It's, like I said, it's very well balanced and I think that's that's, that's a big thing for me. Nick Perdomo doesn't make bad cigars. No, he doesn't. It's he, he's just, truth there, son. I don't it think he's true. ever made a bad cigar in his life. So We like it. Yep. Alright, want to sum it up? Sure. Go um, ahead, Johnny. Uh, I, I've, once again, absolutely thoroughly enjoyed the cigar. Base flavors are pretty constant. Um, I think this is an absolute home run for Perdomo. I, I 100%. It's, it's a stellar cigar. Just another, another feather in his cap. I think, guys, if you want a cigar that you really want to taste, if you want to experience a range of flavors, and uh, like John said, a, a few main flavors and then subtleties going on through it, this is a great cigar for that. It is a very enjoyable smoke. Like I said, Nick just knows how to make them, and he did, did a, a great job with this one. I totally agree. It has that uh, Perdomo je ne sais quoi, <laughs> what you say? It does. And uh, look at that ash. It actually has even Tommy's cigar. Look at this. That oh, ash. Oh, that ash. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good look, cigars. I was but looking at the other one. Even the retrohale is really nice. Actually, the retrohale is kind of sweet, and it's not spicy or anything. It's really nice. Mm. So, you know, if you want a well-balanced cigar. With a uh, lot of smoke. With a lot of smoke, a lot of great ash, you know. It's, Hits on all cylinders. I, I highly recommend the cigar. Also, I've always said that if you want to taste, you know, what a real Nicaraguan cigar tastes like, and I know there are a lot of guys making Nicaraguan cigars, but the Prudomo is a great place to start, and because uh, they're always consistent. Mm -hmm. And take it away. Chum well, to that point, you know, sometimes you prefer a complex cigar because you like a couple of surprises. Sometimes you like a consistent cigar and prefer to have one of those because a certain set of flavors set in and they're with you for the duration. Yeah. For me and, and my experience, it leans a little bit more towards the complex side. Like if you had a, you know, just to the, of the 50-50 line, 
uh, enough that kind of keeps it surprising. You have that pepper kind of constantly knocking at the back door for the consistency side, but then you have these wood flavors that come in, and you have these citrus flavors that come in, and then the wood flavors come back in. Yeah. And then you get this dark kind of bold note that comes in about halfway through. So there's just there's kicking in now. Some really neat flavor work at play. So I think it leans a little bit more to the complex side than the consistent side. But if you're if you're looking for a great, like you said, solid sit down and enjoy smoke, I think this would be great yeah. with a bourbon. You sit back an hour plus of your time, time well spent. I'm with it. And let me say last thing, now that I'm getting here, I think you kind of just said this is starting to pick up. I think it's getting mm -hmm. almost a little yeah. fuller body drink. Gives you a little shot right about halfway through. I like yeah. it. Worth the wait. Gary, yeah, want to say it. bye to everybody? Bye to everybody. <laughs> <laughs> this Rock has on. been the Cigar Advisor Cigar Review Panel. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and at CigarAdvisor.com. Until next time. <laughs>